Hello aspirants welcome back to our channel now we all know that a dedicated preparation is key to success in the UPSC combined geoscientist exam but avoiding common mistakes can make the real difference isn't it we are going to explore the top 10 mistakes you absolutely need to avoid during your preparation journey so grab your notebooks and let's dive in the first and foremost mistake uh, is not having a proper study plan before starting your preparation Now imagine you are a pilot planning a flight without a route would you be ever able to uh, reach your desired destination no right similarly your preparation needs a solid flight plan too a study timetable with a proper allocation of time for each topic in the syllabus ensures timely completion of the syllabus and achieve your targets in a regular basis it's like having a gps for your success isn't it And if you are a student who initially went with the flow without a proper study plan, you may often find yourself overwhelmed, jump, jumping from topic to topic without even being able to complete a single topic in time, right? But if you are a student who is having a proper study schedule, you must have realized by now you are being able to achieve your daily, weekly, or monthly targets with ease without being overwhelmed by the sheer volume of the syllabus, isn't it? So. It should be your number one priority to make a proper plan first, or at least have a broader idea of what and when you are going to accomplish your objectives, and then continue on the path while maintaining consistency. Right. Then moving on, mistake number two, which is underestimating the power of previous year papers. Many times we often neglect the previous year questions while preparing for competitive exams. The reasons are many, such as fear of going through large volume of questions. fear of not being able to solve all of it or sometimes it is just the inherent procrastination which pulls us back but i'm sure most of you who are watching our videos regularly have realized by now that they are like hidden treasures in the chest right which are filled with clues about what's waiting for you in the exam isn't it and in subjects like geology many of the previous year questions are directly get repeated every year Now, while note making, uh, while uh, we make notes, it is an important and a great way for revision. No doubt about it. But they often miss the nuances that previous year papers can unveil. So, I urge all of you to keep the PYQs with you all the time, be it while reading or while revising or while making notes for that matter. It helps you to be on the right track throughout this long journey of preparation. Right? Next. the third mistake is neglecting the fundamentals or the basics imagine building a tower of blocks if your base is shaky the entire structure is compromised isn't it similarly strong fundamentals are your building blocks for the success in an enthusiasm to tackle the complex topics we often tend to skip the basics and as the exam approaches we realize that we are being unable to grasp advanced concepts without a strong foundation and which eventually leads to underconfidence and poor performance in the exam so before you approach any complex topics in your syllabus pay attention to the basic first for example if your fundamentals of mineralogy is sorted you won't face any difficulty in petrology portion of the syllabus similarly if your basics of economic geology is good you don't need to memorize their distribution all the time as it will be easy to predict their distribution based on their process of formation isn't it so keep your fundamentals right Moving on, mistake number 4 is neglecting time management. So your preparation journey can become chaotic without a careful timing, right? As aspiring geoscientist, your time is a precious resource. Allocate it wisely across subjects and sections. Most of the time we get stuck at a particular subject or a concept which we find difficult to understand. In this process, we lose a lot of valuable time that could have been otherwise utilized happening some other subjects, right? and see this exam has a vast array of topics and the papers are designed in a way that each portion has mostly similar weight as that of the others so rather getting stuck at one subject you need to focus on a holistic coverage of all the topics within a specified time frame if you do that i give you my words even difficult things will become easy in the process and it will help you significantly overcome the anxiety of not being able to finish the syllabus within a specified time period right So do not uh, be overwhelmed by the sheer volume of the syllabus and uh, manage your time effectively. 
Now mistake number 5 and the most common mistake that aspirants often do is not practicing enough. Think of this preparation as training for a marathon and you won't uh, run a marathon without practice, right? Similarly, practicing with mock tests and questions sharpens your skills and it it actually makes you an exam ready aspirant. Even in our previous video, we have discussed the science behind effects of regular test taking as compared to merely revising uh, your notes again and again. The recall process during giving a test boosts your memory pathways and also it simulates the exam environment and the process of recalling concepts during this test help you to perform well in the actual exam isn't it so take the mock test very seriously as they are only parameters they are the only parameters i emphasize that again and again because they are the only parameters through which you will be able to find out your weaknesses and strengths you can consider joining geology concepts test series which will immensely aid your preparation through feedback and mentorship by dedicated team of mentors right next on the list of mistake is focusing too much on one subject imagine you are in a restaurant right and will you order only rice as a meal no right and you need other dishes to call it a complete meal isn't it so your preparation is like a complete meal you need balanced ingredients for success so balancing your focus across subjects will ensure a comprehensive coverage of the syllabus so if you uh, love a particular subject don't get carried away by it you need to have grasp over other subjects equally in order to complete a paper in the ex- actual exam and we all have certain areas where we feel very confident and then there are some where we are very average and it is how will you keep a balance between these two extremes will decide whether your name will be in the final merit list or not so focus on the syllabus as a whole and not just on a particular subject now mistake number 7 that is going solo Now imagine you are on a trek navigating through a dense forest without a guide what will happen you will get easily get lost isn't it similarly you may equally feel lost in the vast syllabus without an expert guidance if you are often having a sense of cluelessness and feeling lost or unable to keep track of your preparation you must seek mentors or experienced candidates who can provide valuable insights about the exam and the preparation as a whole Here at Geology Concepts, we ensure that you don't waste your valuable time thinking about resources, resources and the guidance. We give you daily targets, test you regularly to improve your conceptual clarity, and also help you with everything so that you don't feel alone in this long and tiring journey of preparation. Right? Moving forward, mistake number eight: memorizing without understanding. And it is often linked to the previous mistake. Sometimes, when certain concepts seem difficult and there is no one to make it simpler for you to understand. you go for rote learning you try to memorize it without understanding its implication if you have analyzed the previous year questions you must have found out by now that questions are becoming more and more application based isn't it imagine you have memorized all the formulas related to ore reserve estimation but in the exam questions will be framed in a manner that multiple concepts are needed in order to solve a particular problem will you be able to solve it then no right so to avoid such situations your focus should be on conceptual and fundamental clarity from the beginning itself now let's explore the mistake number 9 that is underestimating the significance of current affairs and the general studies as geology students we often tend to ignore the paper 1 of the preliminary exam of the combined geoscientist examination since the marks of the prelim- preliminary exam is going to be counted in the final merit list performance in this paper holds a significant import- importance right and this is the paper where most of the aspirants going to struggle however if you are staying updated with the current affairs along with the gen- general understanding of the gs subjects you are going to achieve a comfortable score overall and it will be easier uh, for you to clear the prelim stage as well as the final cut off so please don't ignore the paper 1 of the prelims exam and you must give some time to cover aspects mentioned in the syllabus along with your geology syllabus and this will also help you in your in- interview stage as well right now last but not the least mistake number 10 that is succumbing to stress think of stress as a storm you need strategies to overcome just as a sailor navigates through the turbulent waters you need to need, need certain tools to navigate through stress and maintain focus and since the uh, process of this examination takes around one and one and a half hours to complete staying motivated all the time is a challenge but self discipline timely completion of syllabus and taking mock tests will help you to overcome the fear 
and anxiety related to this examination. Having said that, staying both physically and mentally healthy is a prerequisite to conquer this process. Make it a habit to regularly exercise and meditate to be able to handle any situation in life in general. Maintaining a routine will also help you to stay on track, right? And there you have it, a comprehensive idea about the top 10 mistakes you should avoid during your UPSC Combined Geoscientist exam preparation. Remember, every journey is enriched by the lessons of others, right? So, if you have found these insights valuable and resonated with the ideas, don't forget to share it with fellow aspirants. Let's support each other in our pursuit of excellence and keep studying and I will see you in the next one.